Welcome back. Joining me on set, I have Kyla and Kiki, who are travel experts and authors. They are authors of the best-selling book, 30-Day Travel Challenge, How to Make Your Travel Dreams a Reality. And they're here to share with us some tips for choosing a safe spring break vacation, as spring break is coming up for a lot of people, a lot of students, a lot of college students getting ready to jet set, as well as summer vacations. So tell me a little bit about the tips that you guys do write about and that you do want to share with people. So not everybody knows, but the U.S. government has issued a level to travel advisory for the um, Bahamas and for Turks and Caicos and for Mexico, super popular spring break destinations. So they're warning about like sexual assault and violent crime and stuff like that. So it's serious stuff. I know that when I've gone abroad and I've traveled too, that's always one of my mom's biggest concerns is how to stay safe. So what are some of the tips that you guys do give out? Absolutely. So generally, um, it's good to check the state.travel.gov and that's going to, I'm sorry, travel.state.gov. So that's going to actually give you rankings on the safety of countries that you can travel to. So it's a really good in-depth um, way to check that out. Go ahead. So you want to make sure that your destination is a level one out of four. So if it's a level two, three, or four, of course, do not go. So those levels are the rankings of how dangerous that area is that you're right, going to be correct. going into. Mm -hmm. So what are some, some just basic tips that every traveler should really know as they do get ready to plan that spring break vacation or even their summer vacations? So one thing the State Department has is that you can register for this thing called STEP. So it's a safe traveler enrollment program and what it does is it gives you up to the date travel alerts and it also um, makes you easier to find in case of an emergency. Uh, so is that like an app or is that? You just register online okay. and then it connects to your email. Okay, so you guys can, can they can get alerts even while they're out traveling? Yes, Absolutely. yeah. Okay, what are some of the big things that um, people need to either make sure that they bring with them or things that just make them stay more aware so that they are staying safe, whether it's carrying your person in front of you or not letting it, if it's an over the shoulder, not letting it go behind you. I know that was my big thing <laughs> yeah. when I was traveling. So just little things like that. Absolutely. So one big thing is that only 38% of Americans actually do travel insurance. So travel insurance is really, really helpful and we highly recommend that. So it, uh, it can prevent you from, you know, missing your flights. Um, and it'll monetarily compensate you as well. And you can even also get medical insurance as well through travel insurance on overseas uh, travels. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck with a huge medical bill overseas. Mm -hmm. So you guys wrote this book. Yes. Where can people find this book? So you can go to 30 Day Travel. Wait, is it 30 Day Travel? 30 Day Travel. <laughs> you can yeah. sell it out or type out the number 30. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and how much do they run? Uh, so we have the Kindle for just four bucks or ten dollars for the paperback version. Okay, perfect. So if they don't want to carry a book and they do have their Kindle, they yes, can pop it in there. What are a couple of the things that you guys, a brief summary of this book, why is it important for people to, to take a look at it? So we wrote this book because we want to kind of encourage people who believe that travel is not accessible or that they can't afford to with proper planning and some hacks that everyone can make travel accessible to their lives. Okay, and how did you guys get into this business? Oh wow, we used to be in a rock band. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, so you probably did a lot of traveling then. Yeah, we did a lot of traveling, but it was like difficult travel. Yeah, like in yeah. a van. It was tough. So. I slept on like so the needed, floor of us. You needed some safety tips. Absolutely. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. I mean, it's just about travel season. I know I'm already looking at vacations. Yeah. yeah. So we appreciate you guys coming in. Again, the book called 30 Day Travel Challenge. You can find that on their website. We'll be back with more after the break.